Hello, it's me again, Abby, and today we're going to learn how to make a 3D paper mache macaw. So you're going to need some cardboard, flour, water, tissue paper, and then some paints for later. So you want to sketch out a silhouette of a macaw. You can use a template if you like, and basically just cut out that of the cardboard. Then you want to basically create silhouettes again of the tail. So you want to create little bits to stick on top. The same for the beak as well. So you just basically draw around them and cut it out. So you've got the beak and now you're going to do the same for the wing. You want two sections for this. So once you cut out the first one, you can draw around that again and create a slimmer version of the first one. And then you want to create the all of those so that you can stick those on top. So you've got the tail, the wing and the beak to basically create higher levels so that it creates that 3D effect. Stick those on using normal glue, whatever you've got at home. And then once you've got that, you want to mix the flour and the water about so it's like a thick paste you want to then dip in your tissue paper toilet paper kitchen roll whatever you've got and create 3d layers a ridge between that back wing and the body the beak is going to be kind of rounded as well and then you want to blend all of those together so nothing's kind of a sharp a sharp edge so once you've got that you want to leave that to dry for about 24 hours depends on the heat and where you are now you want to get your paints once it's dry and you want to start with the red, you want to outline the face, paint the body, the wing as well, and the upper section of that front wing. Then you want to finalise the red with that tail. Once you've got this, you want to mix a little bit of black with red so you can start shadowing that ridge between the body and the back wing and also where that front wing sits on top of the body as well. So you start creating those 3D effects. Start with lighter browns and start going in with darker. Then you want to get the yellow and blend in that wing pattern. Uh, don't worry about the red blending in because it's natural that those wouldn't be sharp kind of lines between the colours. Then with the blue you want to start with a lighter blue or whatever you've got and go in with that final tip of the wing, blending the yellow with the blue as well so it doesn't create sharp edges. Then you want to get the blue and bring it into the top of that tail, starting with a dark blue and then layering on kind of lighter blues on those kind of little tips that come down and even with white as well to really show that they're in the front. Once you've got that, you can kind of blend that edge, bring in some red again and blend that blue in with the red to create that 3D effect and what the feathers really look like. Now you want to get the white and go through that face and upper beak structure. And once you've got the white on, you can bring in the black as well, go for that lower beak and also kind of line off that, that upper beak structure as well on the, on the tip and where it meets the face. Now with the black you want to make a little eye and then add final little white detail into that eye as well. And there you go, it's done. You want to leave him to dry and then you can also do the exact same thing on the other side so it's kind of 3D and you can twizzle it around and it looks the same. So yeah, thank you very, very much. Tune in again for more parrot television. We'll see you soon.